We've made it so that you can program a GPT just by having a conversation. We believe that natural language is going to be a big part of how people use computers in the future, and we think this is an interesting early example. So I'd like to show you how to build one. All right, so I want to create a GPT uh, that helps give founders and developers advice when starting new projects. Um, I'm going to go to create a GPT here, and this drops me into the GPT builder. Uh, I worked with founders for years at YC, and still, whenever I meet developers, the questions I get are always about how do I you know, think about a business idea, can you give me some advice? Uh, I'm going to see if I can build a GPT to help with that. So to start, GPT builder asks me what I want to make. And I'm going to say, I want to help startup founders think through their business ideas and get advice after the founder has gotten some advice. Uh, grill them <laughs> on why they are not growing faster. <laughs> All right. So to start off, I just tell the GPT a little bit about, about what I want here. And it's going to go off and start thinking about that. And it's going to write some detailed instructions for the GPT. Um, it's also going to, let's see, ask me about a name. How do I feel about Startup Mentor? That's fine. Uh, that's good. So if I didn't like the name, of course, I could call it something else. But it's you know, going to try to have this conversation with me and, and start there. And you can see here on, uh, on, on the right, in the preview mode, that it's already starting to fill out the GPT. Um, where it says what it does, it has some like ideas of additional questions that I could ask, um, and <laughs> you know what? I actually so it just generated a candidate. Of course, I could regenerate that or change it, but I sort of like that. So I will say that's great. And you see now that the GPT is being built out a little bit more as we go. Now, what I want this to do, um, how it can interact with users, I could talk about style here. But what I'm going to say uh, is I am going to upload transcripts of some lectures about startups I have given. Please give advice based off of those. All right. So now uh, it's going to go figure out how to do that. And I would like to show you the Configure tab. So you can see some of the things that were built out here as we were going um, by, by the builder itself. And you can see that there's capabilities here that I can enable. Um, I could add custom actions. These are all fine to leave. Um, I'm going to upload a file. Uh, so here is a lecture that I picked, that I used to, that I gave with some startup advice. Um, and I'm going to add that here. In terms of these questions, uh, this is a dumb one. The rest of those are reasonable uh, and like very much things founders often ask. Um, I'm going to add one more thing to the instructions here, which is be concise and constructive with feedback. All right. So again, if we had more time, I'd show you a bunch of other things. But this is, uh, this is like a decent start. And now uh, we can try it out over on this preview tab. So I will say, um, what's a common question? What are three things to look Oops. What are three things to look for when hiring employees at an early stage startup? Now it's going to look at that document I uploaded. Um, it'll also have, of course, all of the background knowledge of GPT-4. That's pretty good. Those are three things that I definitely have said many times. Um, now we could go on, and it would start following the other instructions and you know, grill me on why I'm not growing faster. But in the interest of time, I'm going to skip that. Uh, I'm going to publish this only to me for now. Uh, I can work on it later. I can add more content. I can add a few actions that I think would be useful. Um, and then I can share it publicly. So that's what it looks like to create a GPT. With, thank you. <laughs>